The number one killer is time. It destroys us all. This is what you need to know. Time broke. A growing fracture leading to the end of time. We went after a device that could fix it. Things turned ugly. Paul Stream was there to stop us. He has superpowers. Jack. Him and me both. We failed. Jack. And of course, time travel was involved. Jack. Going too fast for you? Okay. What do you want to cover first? You tell me. Let's start at the beginning. When you first arrived at Riverport University. I came back home to see my best friend, Paul Serene. He wanted to show me what he'd been working on. My brother, Will, was a scientist. He was also involved. Paul said it was world-changing. He was right. Whoa! Come on! Watch where you're going, man! Fuck off! Get out of the road! Riverport University. Here we are. Hey, thanks for the ride. No problem. You'd been away for six years. Paul and I had kept in touch, but, well, not so much. How did it make you feel? I was just happy to see Paul. Good morning. Yeah. Hmm. Paul told me to meet him at the physics building. Paul. Jack. You just got to the campus. Where are you? God, it's good to hear your voice. Uh, when you hit the courtyard and look right, you'll see this fancy modern physics building with the lights on. I'll meet you inside there. I am so looking forward to this, man. You still haven't told me what this is. I know. See you soon. Why 4 a.m.? Why not wait till morning? Paul had always been a showman. Protests seemed like a lost cause. Made me sympathize with the students. If you're with that fraternity, you've done enough damage. We're being shut down. <laughs> hey, I come in peace. I'm just meeting a friend nearby. At 4 a.m.? Yeah, tell me about it. Well, we're spreading awareness about Monarch Solutions, so if you want to know how badly they're giving us the shaft, then you can just ask me. All right, what's going on here? Okay. How would you feel if you knew a corporate monopoly was taking a massive dump all over your personal history? <laughs> uh, that's quite an opener. Good, because that beautiful library over there is over a hundred years old. It's part of the city's heritage, and Monarch Solutions plans to tear it down tomorrow. Do you want to know why? We've got a chart with all the details. Monarch's tearing down the library to build another research facility. For what? I bet you're gonna tell me. Hmm, to push their corporate agenda. I mean, look at those numbers. They're slowly taking over the city and everybody's completely blind to it. Uh, it doesn't look good. Hey, I gotta meet my friend, but you keep fighting this, okay? 
All right. Enjoy your booty call. <laughs> Not exactly. of our universe. We're just a speck of light floating in an endless ocean of darkness. Every story finds its writer. The one we wear for all to see, and the face that lies beneath in the dark. Paul had always been hungry for success. Driven. He made it onto a lot of those top young professionals lists. And now he was coordinating some huge project at the university. It's a big deal for him. Exactly modest, are we, Paul? You made a long trip just to see a research project? Well, reading between the lines, Paul was under a lot of pressure. <laughs> he needed a friend. I wanted to help him any way I could. Son of a bitch. Jack Joyce! In the flesh. The esteemed Mr. Paul Serene. I'm shaking money bags. Shut up and bring it in. <laughs> Welcome home. Six years. And I was starting to think you'd never come back. Yeah, me too. Come on. This way. We're going upstairs to the project lab. How was the flight? First class. Thank you for that. It's a step up from our van trip to Utah. I missed that. I'm guessing that Will's not meeting us. He doesn't know we're here. I knew Paul had asked my brother Will to consult on his project. Will was all the family I had, but he was difficult. It's quite the facility you got here. What can I say? I have a knack of milking money out of wealthy investors. In here, Jack. Going up. Protests against Monarch are going strong, I see. Yeah, I'm kind of surprised you didn't join in. I thought that kind of trouble was your forte. There's more to this than you're letting on. Is it about my brother? I still worry about him, huh? If Will did something wrong, then... Jack, man. Look, I've been tight-lifted about this for a reason. This project we've been working on is going to change the entire world. Uh, why do I smell one of your long-winded presentations on the horizon? I would never. Oh, look. <laughs> a perfectly placed presentation to illustrate the project. Now, who put that there? <laughs> oh, shocking. Okay. Enough joking. The lab's this way, Jack. Come on. 
We'll get to your lab. I want to see your presentation. I know you love this stuff. Come on, man. Dazzle me. Well, if you insist. Progress. Our primary drive as a species. Over time, we have cured life-threatening illnesses. Explore the world. Oh, good. Going into marketing spiel mode. Don't ruin my flow. But there is one element which denies us true progress. Time itself. Now, I'm not a scientist, but here's how it's being explained to me. We've known that, in theory, a rotating black hole creates a deformation in space-time, potentially allowing travel through both space and time. Years ago, William Joyce, your brother, posited the existence of chronon particles, now known as Meyer-Joyce particles, which fill an all-encompassing field, enabling the constant and steady progression of time. Here at Project Promenade, we have combined both these theories to discover a way to manipulate that field. And the results are staggering. There's more, but that's enough of a primer for now. All right, let's do this. So this is about quantum physics. Paul, you know my brother spent years stuck down that rabbit hole. Is that why you brought Will on as a consultant? When Dr. Kim passed away, your brother was the obvious choice to bring in to replace him. Has some budget. What is all this? The future, Jack. You are looking at the biggest discovery of our time. It's impressive, but Will's the scientist. What do you need me for? There's a reason we're doing this at 4 a.m., Jack. I need someone I can trust. I need you to help me convince Will. Yeah, I had a hunch. When your brother found out the scope of what we were building here, he. <laughs> well. You know Will. Yeah. Hang on, I gotta get something from my desk. Will overreacted. Scared off the investors, ranting about miscalculations, dangers, all with no evidence. It works, but they're gonna cut our funding if I don't prove it. Jack, you know asking for her help is not easy for me. I am in deep trouble. You see, the tests I have to run here are not strictly speaking legal. You're the only one I can trust to help me with this. Whatever Will did, I want to make it right. I love my older brother, but he didn't make it easy. It's already essentially set up. Anyone can do it, but you're the one I want to do this with. Jack, thank you. I knew I could count on you. So, what's this? Corridor schematics. Travel clockwise leads to a forward progression in time. Counterclockwise, travel backwards. Oh, it's like you invented a clock. Yes, years ahead of our time. I need you to push the lever over there, lay the chronon conduit. That'll activate the core. I'm gonna run diagnostics and make sure it remains stable. Just the Cronon conduit initiating. Yeah. 
Are you sure it's supposed to do that? The core replicates the effects of a rotating micro black hole, so activating it can be a bit intense. A black hole? What exactly are we testing here? You're about to find out. This way, we've got to raise the corridor. Just like old times, eh? Slightly illegal, moderately reckless. I'd raised some hell with Paul in the past. I could tell this was different. Still, I didn't understand how massive and far-reaching the consequences for this would be. How could I? I knew Paul. He played it cool, but I could tell he was nervous. What's happening? We're really doing this, Jack. It's gonna be amazing. Here, take this. You need this key to activate the corridor. We need to turn the keys at the same time to activate security precautions. Ready? It's like we're launching a nuke. Wait, we're not launching a nuke, right? One way to find out. Three, two, one. God damn, Paul. What is this? The corridor. The passenger enters one end, travels around the loop, exits the other. It arrives at the predetermined time in the physical location where the machine is situated in that time. Passenger? Wait, wait, wait. This is a corridor for... You're actually going inside that thing? In the machine, through time. It's a fucking time machine. I'm going to be the first, Jack. And you're my witness. This is crazy, Paul. I mean, this can't be safe. What happens when... Our team has already proved it works in the trial phase. It is ready. We've passed every test, every inspection. We're about to make history, Jack. All you have to do is hit that switch. Two minutes to the past. Remember this moment. <laughs> what? How? It's... <laughs> it's fine. It's okay. Stay calm, Jack. Stay calm. There's... There's two of you. You just fucking multiplied. This is exactly what was supposed to happen. That's... He's... He's me. A future version of me from two minutes in the future. <laughs> Your evil future self. We did it! Fucking incredible. I mean, just... Imagine the implications. We could warn people about disasters before they disasters happen. before they happen. Cure, cure diseases, diseases before, before they, they spread. spread. I just had this conversation. <laughs> Still sounds good second time. Jesus Christ. Now go into the machine. You need to complete the cycle. Yeah. Yes. Of course. Wait, Paul, what are you doing? It's all a big loop, Jack. I need to enter the machine and travel back to the moment I exited the machine in order to, well, be here. And what if you don't? There is no what if. I'm here, it's already happened. You saw it, Jack. We did it. Oh, that's impossible. That's, that's literally impossible. I mean, I can't even... There's no time to stop now. We need to test the other direction. Set the machine to five minutes to the future. What are you doing? Oh no. Jack. Will? You have to help me with this. We have to shut this thing down now. No, 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 stop him! Shut up! Hold, hold on, the core. hold on! We can't shut it down, Paul's still in there. Will. Shut up! Look shut at me. up! Look at me! Put the gun down and we can talk, okay? No, there's no time. You're not <clears throat> thinking straight. Put the gun down! Jesus Christ, Will. Time is going to end. Jack, you have to trust me. 
For what? So, I'll find a way out. Make sure Will's okay. Yeah. Okay. I could hear Will's words in my head. Time is going to end. What the hell? This is crazy. Will... Well... I didn't want to leave Paul, but there was no way to help him. I didn't know where he'd end up. Keep moving. No! That was the first time my power started to manifest. An out-of-control burst of energy that saved Will. Jack, your proximity to the pulse, it, it must have altered your relation to the chrono. Will, too. what I just did back there, what the hell is happening? That's what I'm telling you. Not in the right language. Explosion make time go bad. If time is an egg, then that egg is fucking broken. The time egg is fucked. What? Why is there an egg in this? There's a fracture in time. It's breaking down, leading to the end of time, and door. What? Locked. They cut my security clearance. Ah! That didn't help. Stand back. I'll get it open. HQ, securing the Will? server room. Over. More of them. Hide. They're coming in here. I want Paul. 
about this. About the calculations. I tried to make you listen to me. By shoving a gun in my face? Yes, a gun. The universal symbol for shut the fuck up and listen to me. Sound logic is always... Shh, you... Shh. you This doesn't make any sense. How? Why are you even here? That's your biggest concern right now? Paul brought me here to clean up your mess. My mess? Do you even... No context for any of this, Jack. You weren't here. A lot happens in six years. It's bigger than us. Can't make it personal. They're trying to kill us, Will. It's pretty goddamn personal. Listen, getting you involved is the last thing I wanted. I mean, I'm sorry. Right. It's too late. How? First, we have to get to my car. You're better at the door thing. Will, get out! Oh, oh God! It's armed! Opening fire! We're pinned down! Yeah, I noticed! Jeez! Go, go, go. Yeah, you... Will, stay down! Put down the gun, Joyce! And stop fucking shooting at us! God damn it. Will, are you okay? I think so. But Jack, that was... I know. This is way out of hand. I'd used a gun before. I've been in a couple tough spots. Never had an army of pro gunmen chase me. I was positive that the experiment would work. That the figures were correct. Because the specialists were a bunch of goddamn idiots. Their formulas were missing these variables entirely. You're seriously making corrections right now? Well, if they made them in the first place, we wouldn't be here. Let's get out of here. Not good. This is not good. There's the elevator to the lobby. It's coming down. Hide! Not again. Come on, come on, come on, come on. You can do this. You can do this. Where is everybody? I don't like it. You heard the gun fire. What? Something's gone wrong. Hey! The other choice is here, too! These guys are wearing modern uniforms. Come on, come on, come on, you tell me. Time's acting up again. Did you hear that? They know our names. They knew we'd be here. It must be after the machine. The elevator. It's the only way out. Of 
Jack. In here. We can't go to your car. Monarch could be expecting that. We have to, Jack. It's important. To fix the fracture. I... I need... We need to get to my car. Okay, just, just walk me through this, Will. Okay, time's broken. Fine. But now you're saying we could fix it? In theory, I built something for such an event years ago. But finding the countermeasure won't be easy. The countermeasure? What the... Okay... What happened? Maybe the door's still open. Let me try. Somehow I could focus and unfreeze Will. Even if the world was still frozen. Stutter. She was right. About the fracture. About all of this. Where's your car? This way. I met this girl. I'm getting my way here. She's not in freezing. It worked on you. Why isn't it working on the others? I don't know. It may have to do with chronon exposure. Look at them all. It's a goddamn invasion. What are they doing? Why? They're taking everybody, every witness to what they've done. You said you were prepared for this, that you knew it was going to happen. How? Beth Wilder. It's complicated. I'll explain in the car. Through this door. God, that's... it's... Okay. Okay, Will. Calm down, okay? I'll take care of this. I'll, I'll fight my way through. I'll get the car and I'll bring it around. Are you sure you can handle this? No. Are you sure you can fix time? No. Then we'll call it even. Here. You'll need the keys. Hey, Jack. Careful. Yeah, okay, I, I will. What the hell? My powers were growing. I started to sense things, premonitions, echoes from the past. Just got orders from Monarch Actual. They want us to find a car belonging to William Joyce while we're here. Got a plate number? It's coming. It's probably Boron or Neutron or some shit. Somebody's here! Seven different parking lots and you just had to pick this... All right, 
Where's your car, Will? I could see an echo of the past. Will, arriving at the university. I hope to God I'm not too late. But that's... I'm seeing the past. Oh, shit! Something clicked. I could reach out and stop time in a focused area. Help me. You don't know what you're doing. Well. Fuck. They're coming for me. Will. I swear to God, if you hurt him. the car. I need to get to Will. He's in trouble. Where's my brother? They're taking him to the library. You might still be able to catch them. Why are you helping me? You're with them. It's more complicated then. Look, I don't know if you can make it, but you should hurry. That's the first time you saw Beth Wilder. Yeah, but definitely not the first time she saw me. Will. Will! Supposed to take William Joyce alive if he doesn't put up a fight. Please, please, let me go. I can shut the hell up. What? 
You still had no idea that Wilder was helping you? She wasn't the only one. are out across the <laughs> Okay, gotta get to the library. No time to lose. I gotta get to Will. Why are you taking me here? It's a library. I need to return some fucking books. HQ, we've got William Joyce in the library. Awaiting orders. Over. Will. They took him to the library. I gotta find a way in. I gotta get to him fast. Where did that come from? Looks like I'm not the only one with the grudge. That looks like a way up. Ugh. 
Why are you taking me here? It's a library. I need to return some fucking books. HQ, we've got William Joyce in the library. Awaiting orders. Over. Jack, run! to move. I got a whole new batch of messed up shit I need you to explain. Get me out of here first. We have to hurry. Where's my car? I didn't like the color. Let's get a new one. What? No, Jack. I need them. <clears throat> Hold that thought. My briefcase was in that car. I'll take you shopping. It's a fucking briefcase. A briefcase that contains something I need in order to... And you didn't think to spell that out to me before. I'm really busy getting kidnapped. Yeah, well, it's not too late to leave you here. How the hell are you staying alive? That's part of the messed up shit I need to explain. You got any theories about being able to manipulate time? No. Time's come up with one. No! Then we find Beth Wilder. Why? Who is she? She knows about the fracture. I trust her. Glad you trusted somebody. It's not that simple, Jack. They kept secrets from you to keep you safe. Safe? Look around you, Will. Does this feel safe to you? This isn't my fault. Beth warned me this would happen. I did everything in my power to stop it. But you never told me any of this. I couldn't just... How long have you known? We don't have time for this now, Jack. We have to get to that briefcase. Let's move before more of them show up. Jack! What are you doing? Only what's necessary. Think about this. You don't know what's at stake. I know exactly what's at stake. That's why I'm here. You believe you can stop what's coming? 
I'm giving you one chance to change your mind. This path, it's already said it can't be changed. The past, the future, I've seen it. I've lived it. For 17 years. 17 years. It was you, the first experiment. Come with me and we can see this through. Or hold on to your hope and burn with it. Now listen, I built a device. I can stop this. I can. You can't. This is madness. There's no harm in trying. There is. That's why I can't risk you opposing me, Will. It doesn't have to end like this. We can't just let this happen. I'll never stop trying. It took me years to come to terms with what must be done. But we don't have years. Wait, wait, wait. <sighs> Trigger. I never wanted this. No! You're not going. 